Hey, it's Skip with Thermite Badge, and today I just want to talk to you about um, career fairs. Uh, recently, I've seen a lot of departments posting their career fairs, going out to different colleges, universities, uh, community centers, and community events. Uh, really, there are, we are in the season for career fairs, recruitment fairs, uh, usually from spring to fall. And all throughout, you're going to see departments out there really trying to engage with possible applicants. So as I as I saw these ads, as I saw these departments talking about, you know, meeting with their applicants, it brought me back to the times that I was at these career fairs and meeting with these applicants. And um, there are a lot of things that um, it, it's different than going to a private industry and trying to turn in your application, things like that. So I wanted to give you guys some insight to really take advantage of when that opportunity came across and to make the most of that time with a recruiter. So the first thing, do research. If you know a department's gonna be at a certain location and that's a department that you're interested in, do some research, go to their website. <clears throat> you know, a lot of the stuff is gonna be out there. They aren't gonna hide it. They're gonna try to make it as easily available to you as possible. They want you to get this information, to read it, to uh, be aware of it. So do your research, go take a look at that. And really they're gonna have you know, the size of the department, um, if they're hiring currently, what their salary rates are, some of the benefits, that's really going to be out there. Uh, what I have a lot of times was an applicant, a potential applicant would come up to me and they would say, you know, how long is your academy? Uh, what is the starting salary? And I'd gladly tell them, but at the same time, in my mind, I recognize that this really, this applicant hasn't really done much research. And obviously there are times where you don't have that opportunity. You just might be coming across an agency that you didn't know was going to be there. Um, and you're going to do what you need to do to try to get the information. But if you have the ability, come prepared. You know, when you come and talk to me as a recruiter or that recruiter at that job fair, you know, ask me pertinent questions. What is the department looking for? Do you have any opportunities within the department that I could take advantage of that was going to help me get my foot in the door? Whether that's going to be their volunteer program, there's going to be a different um, uh, things that they might have, open houses, uh, uh, things like that. So what I wanted was an applicant to come out and say, hey, what can I do to be the best I can for your department? What are you looking for? Do you have these opportunities? Can I join your volunteer and police services program? Okay, yes, here's the information, here's the contact for that. And you know what? Now I, I can see this applicant is better prepared and I have faith or have a, you know, yeah, we'll say faith. I have faith that they're going to make those connections, reach out to do what they need to. Um, you know, another aspect is a lot of times people would give me applications and, you know, I would take them. Absolutely. You know, it, I, I like having to be able to have a name with the face and the person in front of me and I can try to, you know, recall and go back to that later on. But don't be discouraged if they say, you know what, we, we actually don't take applications. Uh, really, that's because of the process. Uh, for the most part, the recruiters are not going to be able to take an application. A, they may not have a, uh, an application period that's open right now. And B, they will funnel all applicants during a certain time frame through a system, an applicant tracking system. Uh, and whether that's going to be internally within the department or within a HR agency or unit within the city or the county, uh, typically that's what happens. Uh, they will post online that we are accepting applications from the start of this date to the end of this date. And during that time frame, you have uh, the ability to submit your application. And that will go into an applicant tracking system. The department itself isn't going to really have any um, hands-on at that point with that application. So, you know what? Take advantage of it. You always hear me say this. Take advantage of the opportunity and that face time you have with that recruiter. You know, if you have some extra copies, give them an application. Help them, you know, remember your name and your face with, uh, you know, what your credentials are, what your experiences are. But don't get discouraged if they say, you know what, well, I'm sorry, you know, uh, we just aren't taking them right now. Uh, the other aspect is <clears throat> when you have when you have that opportunity, you never know when that's going to come up. So have questions um, prepared, right? You know, some basic questions that you you really want to know about and that are going to help you become the best applicant you can be. And at the same time, help you stand out from the competition, the other people who are going to be at that career fair. So just some quick tips on how to take advantage of career fairs during this season. Uh, they're out there, you know. I can't stress this enough, departments are looking for good people. So help them uh, see you as that potential, that applicant, and uh, stand up from the rest of the crowd. Good luck.